moving from skin and coat, first place I'd like to move to is their, is their face, because that's the point of contact. That's where we make a connection. So I usually like to start looking at the oral cavity. Um, I, you should get used to and be very comfortable with picking a left, lifting a left up. Uh, if your dog, of course, is aggressive or doesn't like you doing that, be careful. But once you, I think most owners have a reasonable uh, relationship with it that they can do that. When they lift the lift, they should take a look and make sure the color is pink. Uh, push on the gum and make sure it blanches quickly. If they see uh, that the normal ivory color of the tooth is somehow obscured by calculus or debris that's accumulated on the tooth, or the gums are red, that they're bleeding excessively, that's clearly abnormal. Uh, seeing a strong odor to the mouth or any pain at all while working in the mouth, that's really a red flag and that should be looked at. Uh, you can try to open your pet's mouth if you're comfortable doing it. You should certainly get in the habit of, of uh, brushing your teeth. And that's something uh, for an entire different presentation, but I think it's, it's something that owners can do uh, once you make it fun for the pet and they don't feel like um, that, that, that activity of brushing is associated with a negative uh, experience.